Everybody getting ready for our first weekend of August already. Hard to believe. And you know, we've had a pretty nice pattern here the last few days. It hasn't exactly felt like July or August, but the humidity is returning, especially overnight tonight into your Friday. But uh, we do have a really nice weekend on the way as we have a very progressive pattern with fronts kind of moving through. So really no long spells of heat waves or any cool weather either. Just a very active Progressive pattern moving on through here. Temperatures back in the mid 70s, upper 70s today across uh, most of the area. And you will notice the winds have been out of the southwest. That's a big difference today than where we've been the last few days. And so temperatures pretty uniform here, really. Um, upper 70s, either side of 80 degrees across most of the region. It's even warming up now on the south coast where we had a little bit of sea breeze earlier today. But you know, when you're out there today, you get a sense there's been a bit of a change in the atmosphere. All that cool dry air is gone. That's because we do have a front now that's approaching our area. It's still up here towards the Great Lakes, or really from Wisconsin, Michigan, on up to parts of Ontario and Quebec. So it's got a little while before it gets here. We also have a pretty active day off to the southeast with a dying front. That's along this big heat wave that we've been hearing about through most of the summer. But this activity is going to continue to move off to the south and east away from New England. So it will not be uh, any problems for our area. Now, closer to home, we do have some showers and storms that have fired up today, mainly around the Vermont, Massachusetts line. A few storms trying to get together up in uh, New Hampshire. So if you're camping or vacationing up there tonight, keep that in mind. But uh, for most of us, I think we'll stay on the drier side. We're still at least 12 to 24 hours away from any kind of activity here. But there is a front, as I mentioned, it is along the lakes, and it will slowly start to move through our area tonight then pick up some steam as we get through tomorrow night. And it's really going to clear out nicely here by the time we get to the weekend. We'll follow it on future cast. You can see a few showers popping up along the North Shore, really, uh, around lunchtime tomorrow. But those should miss our area. And then we have a line that starts to move through northern New England around dinner time tomorrow night and then settles through our area really later tomorrow evening. It's most of the activity coming through, I'd say, uh, 9, 10 o'clock and beyond uh, the midnight hour tomorrow night. And then we clear out really nicely here for your Saturday. But in the meantime, we do have the chance. Now, not everybody's going to get an inch of rain. These are convective storms. So if you get under them, you can get some downpours that can really pile up. But you get the idea. It's really eastern New England that we're kind of focusing on, at least this particular model is, with a chance of about an inch of rain. But again, the good news is all of this should be long gone by the time we enjoy our weekend. So for tonight, it's mostly cloudy, warmer than we've been, that's for sure. 64 degrees. You also notice that sunset time, 8.02 p.m. It was one of the final nights of the summer here where that sunset will be after 8 o'clock. So enjoy it. A sunrise of 5.38 tomorrow morning. And as we go through uh, the next few days here, again, a chance for some showers and storms really late Friday, uh, more like Friday night. And then we clear out drier weather here Saturday and Sunday before humidity returns on Monday.